I'm excited! And I've done several videos today, so you're gonna watch all these videos and I'm gonna be like, it's the first day of spring, and you're gonna be like, yeah, we know. But anyway, this is the only video that I'm making that is about it being the first day of spring. So, you know, it's the first day of spring, and like, I'm so excited. It is so beautiful out here. It's sunny and bright, and I had a jacket on, I had to take it off, I have long sleeves on, and I am comfortable, so um, it is just nice out here. And I'm checking out the greenhouse. Everything is looking good right now. I've talked about the issue we had where the heater came unplugged the other day, so we had some losses, but I have taken care of that, compensated for that, and um, it's going to be all right, but I'm just I'm really excited. Things are greening up. The grass is starting to grow. Our cow is due to calve in a couple of weeks and she looks really good. Um, we have, I'm going in the barn, so yes, it's kind of dark in here. I'm sorry. Let's see if I can, there we go. I'll walk backwards. Anyway, um, we have the chickens locked up right now in this coop because we were having a hawk eating them, which was bad. We lost all but one of our bantams and several hens, so it just wasn't good. So we ha we've gone ahead and put them up for now. We're hoping by keeping them in, the hawk will go away because there's, I haven't seen it out here, but since the food source is gone, um, I'm gonna get the kids to come out and feed them, but I thought I would check for eggs while it's out here. It's three. You see, it's kind of dark in here. Anyway, I've got three eggs, I'm gonna take them out. This coop was already set up when we came, so they have PVC bars for roosts, and they work well. We have, um, we had to call some roosters. I'm not sure if I can get this door open with these eggs. Hang on just a second, you guys. Bear with me. I got the eggs in my shirt. Is that out of pockets right now? These poor chickens, they were like, let us out! They've been up for probably about a week now. Woo! Just drop those eggs anyway so we did we had just a ton of roosters i guess we had like seven and that was after the um hawk situation so derek and jack went ahead and butchered five roosters the other week um hey baby hey lady grace Hi. i have three eggs i'm gonna put them right here on this chair don't let me forget them when we go in okay okay all right so they butchered those um because we don't want them to go to waste you know they make great broth um, I just and stock and Mommy. Good, she ate an eggy. That sounds great. And now we have two roosters left. We have Luigi and Goldilocks. Yes. And did Goldilocks is that one that Kylie hatched? Yes. Yes, Kylie hatched Goldilocks. He's got black. He's black, and then he has like several yellow, like feathers on him. He's really pretty. So anyway. There's my buddy. So we got eggs. The chickens weren't, the hens had kind of stopped laying very much and I think that that happened to us before we end up with a bunch of roosters. I think they just get stressed with so many roos um, that they, uh, that they quit laying. I'm gonna go out here. Whoops, a daisy. I'm gonna see if I can locate Gertrude so we can check on her and see how she's looking. We have, and I'll show you in a minute, we built the raised beds over there and we had that gate open because we have a wire running where they can't get where the beds are. So they were in that front pasture and the, the steer had gone through the electric fence and through the barbed wire fence and was laying in the woods off the property the other day. And then Gertrude and Pepper were grazing in this field. So I came up here and tricked him with a bucket and of course they came running over and then he came running when he realized he thought they were eating. So I got them in and then I went ahead and closed that gate where they can't get back in there because it's just not worth him getting out right now. So let's see if we can find them. We've got hay out here for them but they don't care about the hay right now because the grass is actually green <laughs> it's an amazing thing that happens when spring shows up we're really excited for the grass to start coming in because we're going to go ahead and go back I into our re rotational grazing because, because this is the first day of spring i know are you so excited about spring yes and we're going to start rotating them again with our wire through sections of the pasture because we had them by the house and then over there, I mean, they, all this property that you see 
where Derek's bush up. Oh, there's a deer. Can y'all see that? Oh. Oops, I don't know what I just did with my fan. I'm trying to zoom in. more than three miles. Yeah, there they go. I'm not sure if y'all could see that or not. They went up. Anyway, all this property is part of the farm. And up to that, you can see even that over there, that ridge. Um, they can't go over there right now. But I'm really not sure where it. Pepper! Gertrude! Uh, I really hope that they're right over this hill. Because if they're not, then I don't know where they are. It's a little concerning when you come out and you don't see them. Usually they come when I call them. Pepper! Oh, fence is down. Uh oh. Oh my goodness. Pepper! Gertrude! Uh oh. Yeah, they're not here. Um, um, great day. Let me walk and make sure. Oh, this is a great way to start spring, and there's no sign of them. Alright, well, Derek's not here. He's like 40 minutes away. Cutting wood for some friends. And he's got the boys, except for Jacob. Um, where do they, do they climb through the fence? I mean, this is on the ground, the electric, but I don't see how... I don't see how Pepper would have got out unless she jumped, which she very well may have. All right, I gotta go. I gotta find my animals. I'll get back to you when I find them. Never mind. Panic over. The fence was down over there, and I fixed it. But thank goodness they actually did not go out there. If I had to guess, though, because it does look like something pulled the fence down and went out, I'm guessing that that little steer did it and came back. But there was nowhere over there that Gertrude or Pepper could have got through. And Emma came out and helped me find them. And I, I just couldn't see them from up here. I am out of breath. There they are. And I am not about to walk down there and check Gertrude right now because I'm out of breath. I've been walking a lot. So, anyway, they were hiding and I couldn't see them. And then when I saw the fence down, I was like, oh no. <laughs> They were on the opposite side from where I was anyways. <sighs> so back to today. Emma, today is the first day of spring. Are you excited? Yes. How excited are you? A lot. I'm <laughs> very excited. Now so. say hello. What? <laughs> now you say hello to You're silly. You say hello spring, huh? <sighs> well, y'all, I got my uh, adrenaline rush for the day. I saw that fence down. I was like, oh no, they're gone. And I'm like, where in the world? And But I couldn't see them. And I, I couldn't see any sign of them at all. Just like there was no manure or tracks. So I was like, wait a minute. And then Emma came out and was looking on the other side from where I was. And she was like, I found them. I was like, thank goodness. So, whew. I don't remember, I don't think we showed you what we're gonna do with the pigs when we get them. We're getting pigs probably this coming weekend or early next week. So we gotta clean up a little. But this um, stall right here, the side is off. Um, part of the roof is missing. There's a roof and part of it. But it has a good solid door to the barn. So we're gonna use that as their shelter. And we're thinking we're gonna, we're gonna put fencing in 
from the corner of the barn here and run it to the corner post at this gate down here. So we'll have a pretty large area over here. Um, and the barn will be a solid fence for them. This fence is solid, it has wire on it. This right here is not, it's got some wood busted, but Derek, there's a gate there that has close together on the bottom, which is it's upside down. He's gonna take that gate and attach it like just on there so that they can't get through. That gate is tight. And then, like we said, it will come to this corner right here of this fence where about the garden. So they'll have all this area um, to be out here outside for now. We're not sure if we'll keep them here the whole time or if we'll rotate them around. We are getting five. So um, we got to get that ready. Derek's got to get that ready for them. When they first come, we're going to put them in a stall, a solid stall for probably a week. I'm thinking about a week. We're going to um, run a low electric wire in the stall to um, teach them to respect the fence. Here, Lydia, can you hook that gate? So that way they'll respect fence when we turn them out. Here, our garden beds are out here. They're looking good. It's drying out a little bit. The wet compost, Derek's going to come through and till everything. Yeah, baby. Derek's going to come through and till it all for us again. Uh, I mean, he didn't get to till it. He tilled one bed. Till it to see, fluff it all up. And the peas are planted. They haven't come up yet, um, but they'll be coming up soon. And overall, it is just a beautiful spring day on our homestead. Can you get it, baby? I better go walk the skate for her because she doesn't know how. I thought you knew how. Do you see the hook? Oh, you got it. Okay. You just want me to walk around back and forth, back and forth, huh? Well, my battery died. <laughs> But that's okay. I had another one charged ready to go. It was just in the house. So anyway, um, I was saying it is beautiful first day of spring out here on the homestead and I got my chores done. I'm going to get the kids to go feed the chickens and make sure they have water and we're going to fix some lunch. Derek and the big boys, the three biggest boys, are cutting wood for some friends um, to help them out and they'll be coming home in a little while. So we're looking forward to them coming home and spending some family time together. Um, but anyway, that's about it. I just hope that you are having a glorious first day of spring too. Um, it's just a beautiful day.